everyone! In this week's craft video, I'm going to show you three ways to decorate candles with paint. It's fun to do and they make great gifts too. Of course, you're going to need candles. The first candle we're going to make is a marbled candle. You'll need a container that's big enough to fit your candle in, marble paint, a toothpick, rubber gloves, and some water. Grab your candle, and if you'd like to, you can cover the wick with some tape if you don't want paint to go on it. Fill your container about halfway with water and put on your rubber gloves. Shake the paints before use. Add the first color to your water. Make sure you spread it out so that it will cover the entire length of your candle. Add a few drops of a second color here and there. Keep adding more colors until you have the color scheme you're going for. Carefully drag the toothpick through your colors until you get the marble effect you would like to see on your candle. Grab your candle and slowly roll it through the paint. As you can see, the candle picks up the paint and there's hardly any paint left on the water. In my case, the container wasn't big enough to cover my candle completely in one go. That's absolutely fine, you can do it in multiple steps. You can add new paint on top of what's still left in your water or you can clean the water up first by going through it with a Q-tip which is what I'm doing here. Add new paints to the water, create a design with your toothpick, and roll the uncovered part of your candle in it. Repeat these steps to cover the top part of your candle as well. Let dry and try not to touch it until it's completely dry as the paint can be pretty sticky while it's drying and touching that can ruin your design. Once it's dry, you can light it and enjoy your beautiful marbled candle. The second candle we're going to make is a chalkboard candle. You'll need chalkboard paint, painter's tape, and a makeup sponge or paintbrush. Add some shapes to your candle with painter's tape. I'm going to add two geometrical shapes.
Shake and stir your chalkboard paint well, dab your makeup sponge into it, and dab it onto your candle. The painter's tape is just to get a clean edge. I prefer using a makeup sponge over a brush because it applies the paint nice and evenly. Let the paint dry and add another layer. Once that's dry, remove the painter's tape. If some of the edges aren't perfectly clean, carefully scratch them with your nail to clean them up. Add two layers of chalkboard paint to the top of your candle. Since my design is very simple, I'm going to use the tip of my sponge as a stamp and stamp some rectangles onto the candle. Once that's dry, you can use a chalkboard marker to write or draw onto your candle. This is so fun and cute, don't you think so? make is a 3D effect candle. All you'll need is 3D liner aka puffy paint. I'm going to make my candle very colorful so I'm using 10 colors. Shake your 3D liner paints before use. Draw directly onto your candle and make the design you want. I'm doing random things here with all of my colors because I'm going for fun and colors. With adding just one color and an intricate design, like a henna pattern for example, would be very beautiful as well. You'll need to stop a few times to let what you've done so far dry for a little while, as otherwise you'll probably touch wet bits and ruin your design. You could also place your candle onto a manual sculpture wheel or Lazy Susan. That way, you wouldn't have to hold a candle.
dry for at least a couple of hours before handling it. The 3D paint will stay erased and gives a lovely effect. these fun and easy ways to decorate candles. If you did, please click the like button. Also, don't forget to subscribe and hit that notification bell. Thank you so much for watching. Bye!